And now let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, learn about the first people to become members of the Adventist Church in what is now known as Sri Lanka. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On December 12 in 1922, the Ceylon Mission was organized with missionary H. A. Hansen as its superintendent. The first Adventist converts on the island of Ceylon, as it was then called, today's country of Sri Lanka, had been baptized in 1916 when the island was directly under the South India Union. In 1921, Hansen arrived in what was then the British colony of Ceylon, and the following year, he baptized the first two converts from the majority Sinhalese ethnic group, and he organized the first local church in the island. Today, the Sri Lanka mission has just under 3,000 church members. On December 16, 1943, in the middle of World War II, the Missions Division was organized by the General Conference Executive Committee. Because of the war, many mission fields were not able to communicate with their division headquarters. And so the General Conference Secretary, Ernest D. Dick, conceived of the Missions Division. It was based at the world headquarters, but had a dedicated leadership team, and it provided guidance, support, and direction for isolated mission fields right around the world. It operated until after the war, uh, being wrapped up at the General Conference Session of 1946. Now today, it may seem an item of historical administrative trivia, but actually the Missions Division's coordination and the resources it supplied helped to mitigate the worst effects of World War II in the mission areas of this church. One result was that the late 40s and the early 50s were a time of extraordinary mission growth for the worldwide Seventh-day Adventist Church. And that was This Week in Adventist History. (laughs) 